you like that, man. Well, good That's luck to Lee and everybody it. actually who's going through the process at the moment. I'm a big fan of Halfords. Yeah, yeah, you love you love the I smell. Do. Yeah, I do. Anyway, from <laughs> rehabilitation to prevention now, because we here with United Borders, a charity that works to keep young people away from gang culture through music. It was set up by Justin, who we're about to meet, and it's all based on this bus. So come on in, guys. We're on team. We're on. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. You're live on the one show. Please do not swear. Uh, hello, uh, Justin. Now Hi. then, you are the brains behind this th this whole thing. So, yeah. what, what was the catalyst for you then? What sort of inspired you to set the charity up? Well, really, just bringing young people together. Um, we're doing music music education. We're aware that music's a binding force. So we want to bring people, young people, together from different parts of the area to, you know, try and negate the violence and the things that yeah. we see today. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And how did it go then? Those initial few months that yeah, you started this out. Yeah, initially it was bumpy. You know, yeah, you're dealing yeah, yeah. with um, areas cut off through violence and you know lack of funding, etc. So um, we had to go into different areas and get young people to work together. So it wasn't easy at first, but it's becoming easier now. Yeah. And okay. what, what's the yeah, makeup let's, of let's this get, bus then? Come Forward, we're, like we can't see we're trying to sort out issues here, we're trying to bring people together, cut the violence out, and I feel like, honestly, we're not getting enough um, attention, we're not getting enough screen time, man. I'm going to be honest, people will sit there and watch pub wars or whatever, we're trying to sort violence in the UK, man, we're trying to stop all this, you know what I'm saying, people from dying, and we're not getting any sort of attention, the government don't care, The gov one minute the government's saying, oh, people are dying, the knife crime, rare, 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 yeah. we're trying to sort it. We say, yo, can we get some help, we get some funding? They're like, oh, no, sorry, go find elsewhere. It doesn't make any sense. Mm. Like, we need some more respect, we need some more, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. some well, you're, you're so here you're on the show, so... That was great, you said well, you said great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, really good, so, so it all takes... Um, it all takes place on this bus. Yeah. Um, so what, what happens upstairs and what facilities yeah, have you so got on board? Basically, everyone has their own role. Like, we've got producers in the back. Hello. Me, yeah, we've got producers in the back. Me and myself, I'm a rapper, and we come here, we have everything set up. We have, the, we have the laptop there, we have the microphone, and then we also do boxing, we do yoga. And like, what it does is like, for the youth to come there and, and like, free their mind, because like, as you know, like, growing up is hard. Like, people don't get enough opportunities. What this does is give people opportunities. And, like, we told the youth, like, there's, like, here's a place you can come. Like, everyone's yeah. still developing. Like, there's people that are 20 years old, they're still developing. People that are 30, we're still developing. That's what life's about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were out here earlier on with your mics and you did a little performance for us there. And you're good at speaking your mind. So tell me how this has changed your life and what, what it's done it's for you. It's me something to do, something productive to do. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if it wasn't for this bus, I wouldn't be doing much. I mean, I would have done college and that. But I feel like I can come here. I can express myself, I, and I do my, the podcast and that, interview people and that. Yeah. And generally, like, we're just trying to sort all this violence out, man. We're trying to make a change in the community, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Does it feel to you like it's working as well, what you're doing here? It's working, but like I said, we're not getting enough, like, attention. We're not getting enough respect. Like, no one's written our thing because we're sitting there trying to do things for the community and the government yeah. don't care. Like, they could, they'd rather fund police and messages and chicken boxes and all that rubbish, but then... No one's gonna fund us. We're trying to yeah. do real things, man. Well, I'm sure they will. They'll they'll want to come back and say something. Yeah. Obviously, they're not here to put their yeah, point obviously. forward, but yeah, they'll, yeah, yeah. they'll. I'm sure they'll be in touch. I'm sure they'll be in touch. Uh, brilliant. Thank you, Justin, so much Thanks. for bringing your bus onto Thanks. our piazza. Thank you. Very Thank kind. You very uh, now uh, you'll be interested in this Brit-nominated singer-songwriter Dermot Kennedy will be here in just a minute for us. We'll bring him on the bus and can have a look around. Uh, but first, let's have a kickabout with Chris Kamara.